What's going on guys? Jokers Gaming for you here, bringing you another Division video. So, as many of you know, the weekly high value targets have reset, and the weekly ones are the ones that give you the best loot. And we had a new named enemy to fight called Predator of Panther Squad, who is supposedly a rogue agent hunting people down and killing them. So, me and a few of my buddies here, we took him on, and you'll see the loot that we get dropping at the end. So, thought I would share this gameplay with you guys that do still do these, and kind of check it out. Uh, but the other thing is, too, I've heard some interesting stuff along the way. Ever since the announcement and the release dates of the 1.3 in uh, the update, and when it's coming to PlayStation and the fact that now PC fans are happy but in regardless that they're on PC was a 93 percent player drop rate and on consoles there is a 90 percent player drop rate and it is increasing on the PS4 currently according to stats that I read because of the release date for the the next expansion for the first paid DLC underground so that's pretty crazy that that's a lot of players and they said that a lot of that 90% are the original players of the game that bought the season pass when it first came out and they're not getting what they were told they were getting now people are making the argument from Xbox's side and there's something else about Xbox we'll get into in a second that well you guys should have known this it was announced before the DLC came out I went to the midnight launch for this game and we had representatives from Microsoft there that let us play the game let us check out Quantum Break because that was the next big thing that Xbox was coming out as an exclusive and when we got a chance to ask them questions no one said that we had to wait we were told that what you get what you pay for is what you get and that's when you get it not one of them said at the EB games that I went to here in Canada that we had to wait so in all fairness on my behalf of not being thrilled um, you know I was told I was getting it when I was getting it so you know I can understand but really if they just would have made the game so everybody can play it at the same time they wouldn't be losing so many players so you know that's this is kinda crazy that's a pretty big number also in terms of Xbox and I have mentioned before and those of you that know it those of you that don't uh, because the division was given to me for Xbox I have been playing on the Xbox lately and I've honestly as just as of late I've met a pretty cool bunch of guys I must say um, when I first got on there not so much but lately as of now yeah you know so I will have some people to run underground with so vinyl I know you wanted the gameplay of us beating Panther on the other console up I will do that for you so shout out to you Twin Creation, uh, Croc, and Total Recall. Everybody, everybody, like the regular guys that I've met on there, you guys have been awesome. Show me great support. You threw love to the channel on top of it, so I really got to thank you guys for being, you know, really welcoming on that console. That, that was pretty cool. Walking in there, not knowing anybody blind, and these guys have been awesome. So, I will get that out there I will experiment with that Xbox program that you have well I guess that I have as well that upload studio I'm gonna check it out and unfortunately it only records the last five minutes so you know we'll have that five minutes of gameplay but I will do that for you guys um, you know you've been amazing teammates and a great squad to run with so thank you for that but anyway, these high value targets are kind of, they've ran their course, so it's too bad that we're not getting the DLC when it comes. I mean, yeah, look at, I get a 204 weapon, but the rest is 
Lone Star. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Joker's Game of Fear is out, and have a good day.